What's up guys and gals, and welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today in the world of indie games, we're checking back in on Dungeon Mans, a roguelike. I was in the mood for something roguelikey today, and I figured, like, my audience is usually into things that are roguelikey, and so they would figure, they would probably be in about the same direction as I am when it comes to, like, do you want to play a roguelike today? Do you want to play a roguelike? Do you want to lose and totally die? Absolutely. Look, this game has tigers that ride on other tigers' backs. Obviously, this is not a serious game. This is Dungeon Mans, where you will pick an adventure, a stabby mans, a shooty mans, a casty mans, and you will go deep down into the dungeon to try to start your own school of heroism. It now has a DLC as well called Pay to Lose, which adds no items, no new creatures, no new anything except for the option to make the game even harder and add a whole bunch of modifiers to the game to make it even more likely that you will lose. So, you know, you kind of get the developer's sense of humor at this point. I feel like you should probably just come to terms with the fact that this is a humorous game. The developer is pretty funny in this game, actually. And I think if you were into things like Dungeons of Dreadmore, where it's a roguelike, but it's also steeped in humor and comedy, Dungeon Mans will probably also be a game that you'll want to dive on into. Let's start a new academy. Our story begins in a forgotten age. A legend lost in histories that were buried in old myths. On unfamiliar shores of an untamed land, a hero strode forth to... Don't be silly, the hero isn't you. He strode forth to bring the light of knowledge and civilization to a wild continent known only as Budimir. Sounds good. And so we can start a heroic adventure. This great hero upon the shores of Budimir brought with him one thing, the iron spirit of a dungeon man's. There is no greater force than the Order of Dungeon Men's, each one a titan of monster-crushing greatness, an unparalleled treasure hunter, and a veteran of a thousand battles. Here, one of the eldest and greatest of their champions set out to spread the light of the Dungeon Men's to a new land. The great hero set out to build a mighty Dungeon Man's Academy, an institution of higher learning and martial training, one that would serve as a beacon of civilization to the terrified native villagers, cowering in fear from what terror lurks outside their walls. The toil was not a small one, but eventually the academy began to accept its first students. Bright-eyed young hopefuls willing to take up the cause and bring war to those who would prey upon the just. So begins the story of one young candidate ready to embark upon the rigorous years of study required to be a dungeon man. What is the candidate's name? The candidate's name will be Trainee Mans. All right, so we have different skills that we can put things into. Select a stat block. We have Strength, which increases your health, stamina, and all damage slightly with your melee damage. Where the stats specialize, Strength fortifies the entire Dungeon Mans. We have Skills, increases accuracy, increases range damage, helps defeat enemy blocking and parrying. Skills are important for any ranged fighter. We have Science, reduces magical damage taken, increases your effectiveness and duration of potion scrolls and your debuffs on enemies. Increases detection chance. Science is a measure of your wisdom and knowledge of how things work. And then we have Foom, which is increases your mana, your magic damage, and adds damage to all ranged attacks. Foom is the essence of destruction in large amounts and with high potency. Well, like, let's be... I want to be like a fighty man's. That's what I want to be. I don't want to be smart. I just want to be really good at hitting people in the face. We also now have to choose our class. We can be a ranger man's. Which is essentially a guy with a bow. He shoots pointy sticks, okay? We've got Fighter Mans, who stabs people with pointy sticks. He does not care about propelling them. That takes too much science. Nay. We have Wizard Mans. Pretty self-explanatory. We have Banner Mans, the heraldry and chivalry and the finest tradition of the knights of old. Use banners to lay out zones of control. We have Necromancers. We have Psychomancers and Southern Gentlemen's. Class, dignity, and decorum are your way of life. You endure the sticks and stones of the lowborn through a mask of politeness that will hide your ever-growing rage. It's up to you to decide when you've had enough and will betide anything within shouting distance when you do. It's a southern gentleman. We also have dungeon mans and a touristy. Let's just go with a fighter mans. That sounds all right. Tell us about yourself, trainee mans. We can be southern born. Your base health is increased by 5% and you are resistant to stuns. Yeah, that sounds good. Uh, we can also make ourselves illiterate. You cannot read books because they are tasty and words mean nothing to you. Okay, so we get health back and an XP boost when we eat books. We've got Scrounger, which means we mine for it. Ooh, we find more coins and loot. I kind of like that. Let's get more coins and loot. That sounds good. We've got to pick what we look like now, too. Where's an awesome-looking fighty man's? 
That's a pretty good looking fighty mans right there. I think that that fighty mans encompasses just about all the attributes that I require from a fighty mans. All right, we've got ourselves trapezius muscles, pectorals. We've got ourselves some latoruses and like some biceps and some triceps. Yes, let's do it. Bum 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 bum. Congratulations, trainee mans. As the first graduate of the Dungeon Man's Academy, there is much that rests upon your beefy, robust shoulders. This wild, untamed world is yours to explore, wander, and protect. And before I go, I can offer you some brief words of advice to urge you in the right direction. Nah, man, I'm ready for adventure. Let's do this. So can I just, like, walk around? Oh, I was going to use Was to walk around, but it looks like it's the arrow keys. Okay, right, that's fine. I can live with that. This is the Academy War Chest. When you upgrade the Academy by returning artifacts or books, you will sometimes have rewards for you here. Okay, sounds good. Sounds like a plan. Got a couple of other rooms around here. Okay, so bring books I don't want to the headmaster. And he'll be the only person in the entire institution that doesn't stuff them in his mouth. Okay, sounds good. Who else do we have around here? You, who are you? Checking out the, account, uh, the alchemy laboratory, I see. No touching and no drinking. Not there's much to drink. This miserable excuse for an alchemy lab. Scrobolds ran off with the last piece of good equipment. <laughs> They're called scrobolds? <laughs> uh, you know, like, I feel like there's all kinds of mental imagery that comes up when you encourage the prefix of scro before anything. Scrobolds, huh? You can certainly use any alchemy tools that you come across. You also happen to paint the walls of a nearby dungeon crimson with scrobold blood. That'd be great, too. All right. I'll give it my best try. You want to get out of the way? I would like it if you were no longer in the way of that door that I'm currently trying to walk through. And this guy looks like he is a blacksmith. So we can upgrade our gear over here and do some other stuff. We can buy some upgrade hammers or something. We can melt down all of our unlocked stuff. Okay. Sounds good. Uh, I'm going to go be buff inside of a dungeon or something. What does this guy do? Oh, hello, trainee mans. I am the empty graveyard here. Nice and empty. Gonna stay that way too, right? Be best if I didn't have to do no digging, sir. I hate graves. All right, so what's with the uh, horseless headman's ghost guy I'm seeing near the exit? What's his deal? Oh, that guy. I really like when the dead stay under the nice deep dirt, so he and I aren't friends. He just shows up around this time of year making big ghosty threats. Legend has it he was the executioner for an old and evil emperor. He'd ride from town to town, beheading anybody who stepped his, their toes inside outside the law until one day trolls ate his horse. Then he had to walk everywhere. All that time on the lonely roads just kind of drove him crazy. He's got a peculiar way of talking, so pay attention to what he says and how he says it. If you can find him, beat him up good, because he used a lot of powerful weapons from his days collecting heads. He might still have some tucked away. All right, so this is the Halloween event for the game, in case you were wondering. The, de the developer does actively still do, like, Christmas events and Halloween events and stuff for anybody that, like, is still into the game. Fear me, mans, and no dismay. I come to rule your holiday. Don't think to fight or hope or pray. The hell are you? Who let you in? My plans are vast and are replete with tricksy tricks and simple treats. Challenge me and face defeat. All right, let's do it. More scrapping. So much bravado you bring. But sucks for you, I've taken wing. To find me, you must face the king. All right, well, ain't no thing. We gonna be there. Yeah, I'm gonna be there. Uh, so this is the overworld map where we've got to pick dungeons and stuff to go down inside of. Uh, we have the Dale of the Downsy <laughs> over there. <laughs> All right, the Ookfells, or we can go inside the Scrobold Warren that is apparently conveniently placed. Let's do it. Let's go beat up some Scrobolds, yeah? Foolish red creatures setting up their squalid home, not a stone's throw from the Dungeon Man's Academy. It's as if they want to be crushed. Training Man's will keep a watchful eye on them. All right, so we found an Ool Vatal scroll. I don't know what that does, but maybe it'll do something someday. Ow! Don't stab me, dude! Don't stab me, bro! I was just here sightseeing. We picked up some copper, so that's pretty rad. We've got a scroll of Waythu Gibbon. All right, can I break that thing right there? We also got a Prancy Elf Limp Caster. I have no idea what that is. Probably some kind of wand. I should probably turn on my numlock so that I can use the numpad. How about that? There we go. We're using the numpad now. Uh, we've eliminated another creature. But not before being smacked. Oh, we ruined him for... An okay, good. I thought he hit us for 9, and I was like, you know, we only have like 23 HP, so... That may not go so well for... You parried me? How could you? How dare you, sir? 
Trainee man's mightiest warrior of the day. A liquid bandage. Sounds good. Okay. Break a few more of these crates down here. You guys like roguelites, man? I love roguelikes and roguelites. But the ones that are just like classics and they stick to the formula, for whatever reason, I can just not get enough of just like normal roguelikes that like don't really change a whole lot up. It's just a grid-based RPG where you have a really good chance of dying. Something about that is just endlessly entertaining to me. Should probably figure out what some of these scrolls do. I did leave my character literate for one reason or another. Uh, does There we go. The five key will advance a turn so I can have him walk up on me. Ooh, what is that right there? A combat tunic. Nice. A tunic for combat. A combative tunic. A tunic that has words for everybody. Man, they like to give me scrolls, don't they? There's a lot of these things down here. Listen, bruv. I'm going to need you to stop stabbing me in the head. He only gets one turn per two turns. That's pretty rad. I'll take that. Got some sandals over there. Got some flippy floppies. Yup. I got my swimming trunks. I got my flippy floppies. We got a spaltizer right there. I don't know what a spaltizer does. We'll look at our loot in just a second. We also picked up 21 gold right there. 21 copper, I guess. Nice, dude, we leveled up. I like the level up animation. It feels very festive. Makes me feel excited about the fact that I have transcended the bonds of normal constraints and become better at my job. Normally that's something I try to avoid. But, you know, we've got Rebel Leather right here. All right, well, let's take a look. It uses a list-based menu system. So we can't use light armor right now for whatever reason. Is there a reason I can't use light armor? This is real armor. Apparently, those are the various, the various classifications. So we've got medium armor, and then they call heavy armor real armor. What does a scroll of Wathu Gabin do? Apparently, my Curus now glows with dark energy. Why does it have dark energy? No, because I nerfed it? Lame, dude. What did that do? The Fof... The Fofnigelmire has revealed my scroll to be a scroll of bolster armor. Okay. Oh, I have identify scrolls. Nice. So, apparently, the scroll of Fraxensnay... Is a scroll of eat curse. That's probably a good thing. So yeah, scroll. Yeah, go ahead and like do that. Trainee man's consumes the curses, infecting his inventory, but takes four damage. Nice. I'm no longer cursed. Sweet dude. I'll take that. What else do we have around here? We've got a scroll of Shaquiwern. All right. What does that do? It's a scroll of beckon monster. What does that do? I don't think it beckoned any monsters. What does that thing do? Oh, nice. So we've got like a little skill tree over here. So we can go with armor. So we've got real armor on this side. We've got medium armor on that side. What kind of weapon skills do I have? I have sword and board. I can do like a shield rush. Is there a hot slot that I can do this with? Oh, it's on the left right there on the wall. Gotcha. So, like, I can shield charge people. What other stuff do I have? High guard. You hunker down and raise your shield, giving you a powerful block bonus. If you block during this time, you get free counterattacks. Oh, nice, dude. And then battle fervor. Roar into combat with tireless endurance, trusting your heavy armor to protect you. You take less damage, shake off bleeding and poison, getting hit by physical attacks, restores stamina, and every killing blow will heal you. Hell yeah, dude. That sounds good. So we can go with two-handed axe, hammer, or sword. A sweeping attack that hits three tiles adjacent to you and knocks the enemies in those tiles backwards. Okay. We've got the wizard man. Oh, you can take, like, stuff out of any man's tree that you want. Intradasting. Okay. So we've got basic archery. We've got dungeon dervish, which allows us to dual wield. Do I want a dual wield or do I want a big two-handed weapon? I don't know. Tough choice. Oh, there's even more trees down here. There's master's programs. You can also do cartography. When starting random combat encounter in the overworld, you begin the fight with a powerful buff. Okay. And then we've also got your ability to sense hidden objects in dangerous situations is enhanced. Yeah, let's do that. I don't like stepping on traps that one-shot my character, so I feel like that's a pretty solid decision. Why is this spot glowing right here? I don't know what that does. There's a glowy spot right there, though. Looks like there's a hole over here. Let's see if we can go down this way and kill some more scrobolds. 
All right, well, no scroll bolds out. Oh, there's a, ooh, okay. Apparently we're in a bad mood right now. We critted that guy to death with like no thought. Another one bites the dust. I like the little sound effects they make when I kill them. Do little meh, meh, meh. I don't think that does anything. I think we've actually finished this floor. We've got two ladders down. Oh, apparently I picked up Terra Boots. What do Terra Boots do? Oh, they're real armor, so that's good. Yeah, put those on my feet. That sounds great. Hello? Anybody down here in this deadly part of the dungeon that I'm currently diving into? Hmm. Oh my god. Dude, that guy was so tough. Apparently, he was way more badass than I am. I only got 144 XP? Aw, oh, man. So, this time around, we've got a cooler cape, and we've got cooler armor, but our formerly swole, like, absolutely beefcaked-out fighter has now been added to the Memorial Paradise. What are you gonna do? I'm going to head back out to the dungeon. Obviously, this is no time for us to stop. Now we are not only fueled by wanderlust, we are fueled by revenge, which is one of the most powerful emotions. Let's go ahead. It's right up there next to lust for ice cream in terms of, like, things that motivate adventurers. So listen, jerk. You killed my friend. That means I have to kill you now. It's not personal. I just kind of want you dead. Yep, you're dead too. Have fun being murdered. I will grab this money, though. I may need to bring this back home to subsidize the family of the lost, all right? Was there any money in there? Oh, we got another scrolly thing. Kill that guy off. I don't even know what weapon we're using right now, but, like, maybe someday. Ooh, one-shotted. Have fun being a new skeleton installation in the middle of the dungeon. Ooh, what is that thing? It's a naked lady statue. Hmm. I feel like this requires further investigation. I'll be in my bunk. We'll grab that right there, and we'll grab the... What is this thing? So we've got a priceless and rare historical artifact. Should I take that back to the city? I kind of feel like I should take that back to the place that we are from. It seems like a good idea. Just rest until you're healed up. Your HP is looking subpar right now. Like, we are taking quite a bit more damage than I would prefer to be taking right now. We leveled up at all? Nope, we still need 40 more XP for Trainy Mori Mans. And we got ourselves a skirt right there. I don't think we're going to need it. Although, one of the coolest outfits I ever constructed in Oblivion is I found, like, this purple and gold skirt. And if you used it with the plate mail, like the steel boots and the steel cuirass, it actually fit into the model, like, perfectly, and it made you look like a super badass, like, medieval crusader. That was one of the few times in a video game that I wore a skirt. And if anybody had a problem with it, oh, please believe they would be purged. Well, Trainee Mori Mans is, like, feeling better, so maybe we'll be okay deep down in this dungeon. I will point out that I would prefer to be level 2 again, just in case. Let's do some, ad let's do some advanced delving down here, okay? I'm kind of scared to go down the stairs at this point. It seems like the stairs can go very, very wrong. I don't know who that guy was that we ran into, but he was like the Ong Bak of Scrobolds. And he absolutely decimated us. It would make me a little tiny bit offended. There's a scroll back there, but we're already down the stairs, so why worry about it? Hello? Any uh, angry bosses around here that really, really, really want to hurt me? Oh, we killed him. Nice. Now we just got to kill this guy. This guy is, like, tore up. What did you just drop? What was that? A proof of strength. Oh, we got a spooky basket full of candy, too, for Halloween. Nice. What is that right there? A spaltizer. Okay. Well, let's, like, hang out and rest until we got all our HPs back. How about that? Oh, my rest was interrupted by monsters? That disappoints me. Stop interrupting my rest, dude. I'm trying to get my nap on right now. I got a liquid bandage. That's pretty rad. Maybe I should use that. What is the proof of strength? Take this back to the Academy Headmaster. He'll know what to do. A fell container. Do 
Did it just drop a bunch of candy corn? I believe that it did. What is that right there? Pumpkin bombs? Yeah, dude. I'm officially the Green Goblin. What's the difference between the Green Goblin and the Hobgoblin? That's one of those things from, like, the world of Spider-Man that I was never able to fully, like, buckle in on. I'm getting, like, straight chewed on by those little warrior guys. Those dudes are no joke. These guys don't play around. You feel refreshed and ready to crush more monsters. Well, that's what I came to do, so crush we shall. I'm only getting four XP per monster? I'm offended. <gasps> There's a sword and a stone down here. A sword and a skull, I guess. What does that do? Training man's was not a very powerful dungeon man's, but even the most junior graduate from the academy has a force of will far stronger than average man's. Some small essence of training man's lingers here, and as you approach it, swirls around you, bestowing what power it can. Nice. Well, thank you for the training man's buff. I appreciate that. I don't like being dead, and so, like, anything that can help out with this whole process, I think I'm on board with. Yeah, I need you to, like, die. Go away. Just, like, leave me alone. You deal too much damage, and it worries me for my future. I'm kind of curious whether monsters just respawn nonstop. I think they must. What's going on down here? Anything interesting? I mean, there's more of these little warrior guys. I don't like these guys. These guys are hard. Like, they just deal a lot of damage, and it makes me feel unsafe. Like, and what if they decide to deal that spiky damage at, like, the wrong time, and I catch the brunt of it? You know, that's not fair to me. Like, I feel like, among all other things, I deserve to live way more than everyone else deserves to live. Is that yesterday? It's yes. I thought it was a wooden knife for a second. We've got a thick plank with a bent nail. Okay. Oh, we can spike a door to hold it shut. That's pretty cool. We've got a plated field sarong. Apparently, I'm wearing a sarong. Oh, yes. Got a tin steel hammer over here. That's better than what I have. Equip that. A splinter grip chopper plus one. Well, that does plus one damage, so we might as well equip that. I do wish this game had a mode where you just had, like, a default ragdoll, and, like, when you put on the equipment, it would be on the character. I wish that it had that, but I wish that for every game that does not have that. That's one of my principal, like, pet peeves in gaming. I don't know why it bothers me so much. It just does. And, like, to be fair, it's not something that's inherently wrong with any of the... I'm going to charge this guy. Yeah! How'd you like that one right there? How'd you like that one? Ooh, I got a counterattack right there. That was pretty sweet. Nice, man. We should probably kill off this wizard right here. I don't know what he's going to do, but I've got a sneaking suspicion he's going to do something terrible. It looks like I leveled up. And I think I can live with that. We've got another splinter grip chopper. Okay. A gladiator skirt plus one. Oh, it's a medium armor. That's why I can't use it. Okay. A weakling skelebro. Yeah, dude, let's have a skelebro. That sounds rad. Come forth, Skelebro. Let us go forth and bro lightly and tightly and ever so rightly. Apparently, that Scrobold really wanted my Skelebro. He just couldn't help himself. He wanted to take him out. Skelebro, how long do you last for? Because if you don't last for a while longer, I'm going to be very, very sad. Because I've gotten used to having a friend now. I know it's a new experience for me, but oh my god, he's so strong. Ow, dude! I just got banged on. That was kind of stingy. Guess what? You're dead. Never have I been so happy to acquire the Skelebro. Oh, he drops candy corn, too, while he's riding around. A lot of people don't like candy corn. I like candy corn. I think candy corn's fine as long as it's not super old and stale. Like, I think that's my limit on candy corn is like... Is it fresh? Because if it's fresh, then like, yeah, I love me some candy corn. Like, I'm down. But if it's candy corn that's like 25 years old, then like, no thank you, you know. But I feel like that's the same argument. That's going kind of unfair to candy corn. Me crush you like egg, like already broken egg, and me break again. I'm running the hell away. I'm going to let Skelebro take over on this one.
I would like to charge right there and kill this archer, please. Then I'm going to put my shield up so that if I parry this guy, I get a free counterattack. I'm going to have to charge him. I don't have a choice. Apparently, Skelebro has died, which is obviously a massive disappointment to everyone involved in this adventure. Seems plausible that I might not make it here. Am I regenerating? I would like to regenerate, please. I feel like stamina would be a good acquisition, too. Well, see, I tried to regenerate, and then you just ruined it. Like, I had a plan, and then, like, you just pooped on it. You pooped on the plan. I think the liquid bandage must get rid of bleeds. That's what I'm thinking. You're making this very difficult. I need you to understand how difficult you're making this. Like, I need you to stop running. Do I have anything that could help out here? Yeah, dude. Pumpkin bombs. Sure. Well, pumpkin bombs didn't help this situation very much. And... And... I feel like this is a pretty strong argument. I feel like this is a pretty strong argument for ranged weapons right here. I'm getting kited like crazy. Like, I just can't close up with that dude. Uh-oh. We have more problems. Continue dungeon manzing. There we go. We have dungeon mans. Zd. If that's a verb that you can even use. Grab some of that goodies right there. Okay. This little dude obviously needs to get hit in the face with a charge. Because... You know, I am a fine purveyor of charges to the face. What is that right there? Like a fire potion or something? A lambent golden potion. Okay, what is that? A general purpose antidote. That's cool, that's cool. I feel like that might be useful if I ever end up like super poisoned. Yeah, have fun being dead, man. I'm going back up to the surface to drop off all this cool loot that we found along the way. I feel like I deserve it. Like, I don't know what awards reweight, like, await us. What rewards reweight us and will be re-given. But, you know, we got an iron beat stick. I mean, it's an item that tells you exactly what it does. By that token, it's already superior to all the unidentified items that we have, so... You know. At least it's clear about what its function is. You pick it up, and it's like, hey, I'm a stick you beat things with. I would like to go to the nearest of the upstairs, please. Yeah, we can kind of just, like, leave and go over here and drop off some of these goodies. I don't really want to talk to you right now, Headless Horseman. I don't feel like you're important to me. Are you the headmaster? Nice. Um, so I found... Can you identify all my stuff? Thank you. All of my stuff has been identified. I also have a relic. My word, look how historical and significant this rare artifact is. Surely you see the value in such a find. Uh, yeah, put it in the museum. You made the right call. Now all we need is a museum to put this in. Close your eyes. Congratulations, you have funded or founded the Dungeon Man's Academy Museum. Now you and all future graduates will gain monster knowledge for every enemy defeated in battle. Monster knowledge will let you see more detailed information about your enemies in the field as well as provide you with an edge in combat. When your knowledge reaches a certain point, you get a book of true things, a collection of indisputable facts you can return to the headmaster to ensure all future graduates will receive that wisdom. Nice. I love all the little persistent additive things that they have in this game. It's good. Like things to work on in between dungeon runs, you know? Do I have anything else I can give you? I have that thing, that thing of strength, don't I? Oh, I guess not. I have tin steel curuses, though. A venomous splinter drip chopper. Yeah, I think I can do that. Let's have let's have a magical chopper. Because obviously, May Chopper is strong, Spice Marine. Uh, I will see you all later. Thank you for stopping in for some Dungeon Mans. If you want to see more, make sure you leave a like on this video. It helps me know 
who's engaged with what, and if I should re-record more stuff. How you doing? Take care, everybody. If you want to get this game for yourself, it's down below in the description. Dungeon Mans, a roguelike that continues to get updates. It continues to get, like, seasonal events and stuff like that. And so if you're in for an old-school roguelike with a sense of humor, a la Dungeons of Dreadmore, I think you're going to like this one. How you doing? Take care, and I'll see you all tomorrow.